autism. Difficulty in communicating. He's high functioning. He's capable of living on his own. Tonight on ABC 7 at 10, we air The Good Doctor, a new series whose main character is a brilliant surgeon who also has autism, a disorder impacting speech, relationships, and social skills. And one of the main early themes of that show is whether a hospital should hire him. We thought that this board wouldn't have any doubts about hiring a surgeon diagnosed with autism. The reality is this. People with autism here in Southwest Florida, desperate to get jobs, confront the same battle. This is not just a Hollywood creation. Okay, let's get done. The saying goes, don't judge a book by its cover. And as he works in a Lee County library full of them, Justin Padilla wishes you would do the same with him. I'm not being rude. I'm just, this is just how I am. So you've got to understand that. The book of Justin is this. Diagnosed with autism in high school. He knows he talks differently. And he's been enduring insults. About he sometimes comes off since before he was a teenager. I don't like thinking about it. It hurts. It just hurts because I try to block those memories away. Instead is writing the rest of his story. He's focused on education. He just got accepted to FGCU and employment. He wants to work full-time one day. They desperately want to be employed. Work is your livelihood. Sandra Wirth, who has a son with autism, and Brad Carpell, a young man with autism, together created My Autism Connection in Fort Myers. And there it is. It's a group that helps people with autism like Justin, learn about social interaction, living independently, and yes, trying to get a job. Three things not easy for people with autism. I don't think that should be a, a barrier for employment or success. The metaphorical barrier right now starts with the job interview. First impressions, small talk, even something as simple as a handshake. People with autism struggle with that. We'll just take one look at you and say, he's a little strange or there, I don't know if I necessarily want that on in my workforce. In fact, research shows just 58% of young adults with autism have worked out solemn from high school to their early 20s, a number that is far lower than other young adults with disabilities. And those that do work tend to work part-time or low-wage jobs. If he's qualified, he's qualified. End of story. And Sandra says people with autism are. They're loyal. They're focused. And like Brad, who works full-time in Immokalee as a health information management technician, they're efficient. Once I have a rhythm down, I'm the best employee that can be there. As long as things keep me busy, I'm happy. As for Justin, the library gig is part-time for now. The next chapter, he hopes, is a full-time teaching job, educating those like him with autism. As they hope the show on ABC teaches those without autism not to judge a book by its cover. We hire Sean and we give hope to those people with limitations that those limitations are not what they think they are, that they do have a shot. Now some businesses have taken the lead in trying to hire people with autism. Let me give you an example. Microsoft launched a pilot program back in 2015 hoping to diversify its workforce and employ more people with autism. Best Buy and Ford also created programs to do that. And then there's this. Rising Tide Car Wash down in South Florida. It's a family-owned business with the main goal of employing people with autism, and they employ dozens. If you are interested in my autism connection right here in Southwest Florida, we posted a link to that group's website on our website, abc-7.com. Just click on the Get More tab. And coming up right after this newscast, the founder of My Autism Connection, Sandra Worth, will be joining me on our Facebook page for a Facebook Live discussion. So come ask your questions. It's ABC7 Southwest Florida on Facebook at 7.